Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to check out ChatGPT. It's been in the news, it's been all over the place on YouTube, so I thought I'd give it a shot and check it out. So we're gonna take a different angle. I'm gonna look at one of my older videos and ask the same question to ChatGPT and see what it comes up with, and then we'll follow its instructions and see how well it does. All right. First things first, you wanna head to the OpenAI website. So openai.com. And then you scroll down and click on Try Chat GPT. Now, first, you're going to be presented with uh, an account creation process, and then you will then get to actually this page. I already created my account, so it's sending me to the page right away. And you can see here we continue to roll out restoration of Chat uh, GPT service. So they are very busy. Uh, you might want to try in the evening or early in the morning. If you try to use chat to GPT in the middle of the day, uh, most likely the servers may not be available or they're not going to allow any new people on because they get very busy lately with all the news. Okay, so we're, we are now in chat GPT. We're going to select one of my old videos. And then in this case, we're going to do conditional formatting with multiple conditions. Let's see how chat GPT tells us to do that project. Okay. How to apply conditional formatting with multiple conditions. Column A lists numbers and column B lists yes or no. Make column B red if column A is greater than 50 and column B equals yes. All right, let's see what it does. Okay. It's typing up pretty quick. I tried using chat GPT earlier today um, during lunch uh, just to fool around with it. And I did receive an error that um, the server was busy. So again, you might want to try off peak hours. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. See what it tells me. To apply conditional formatting with multiple conditions to highlight cells in column B that meet the criteria you described, you can follow these steps. Select the range of cells in column B that you want to apply the formatting to. Okay, that would be this. Click on the conditional formatting button. That's this under the Home tab. Then go to New Rule. Okay. In the New Formatting Rule dialog box, you're going to click on here. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. And then here, in the New Formatting Rule, no, oh, we just did that. In the format values where this formula is true, which is down here, enter the following formula. Okay, so copy, paste. This formula checks if the value in column A is greater than 50, and if the corresponding cell in column B contains the text yes. This is really amazing. The, the language it's using, it's, ex it's, it's very specific to what we're doing. I just... That is really impressive. All right. A1 is greater than, okay, so it's going from up here. Okay, now you have to do a little bit of thinking along with it. So we're going to change this A1 to two and B1 to two. And then click on format here to change the actual formatting. We'll fill it with red, font, bold, italic, click OK, and then click OK again. All right, so let's take a look. Number 115, yes, that's greater than 50, yes, 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 that's true. It Well, it did exactly that. Wow. And it like documents it so beautifully. You can just copy and paste this and send it and then send it to someone. So it works. Yeah. I've I'm really impressed. This will probably change the way I document my videos. And well, if you have any questions, if there's anything else you'd like to try, please leave a comment below. Um, that's it for now. We will dive deeper into chat GPT in the very near future.